Hi, it's James from Epilogue Laser. So today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use camera positioning to take an odd shaped item like a bottle opener and create a full engraving on this in just a few easy steps using the camera and copy background image. Now this is a tool I love to use whenever I'm doing any kind of custom engraving of a piece where I need to fill the entire piece. It makes it really simple to do. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do in the sample is actually fill a bottle opener with this design here. So to make sure that it's exactly the shape of the bottle opener, we'll be using the camera system to actually set that up, which is really easy to do. So we'll come over to the laser dashboard. We're using the Fusion Galvo G100 today. I've got my F254 lens in there, so I've got a six inch by six inch work area. Now the bottle opener is a little wider than six inches, so I've got this at an angle. And I've got some posts in here to make it easily uh, positioned if I want to do more of them as well. Now to use this camera image, I'm just going to come over to the left side and next to video is this icon for copy background image. So I'll go ahead and click that and go back to my graphics software. And I've set the page size to the same size as that work area of six inches by six inches. So I'm just going to paste that in place. And now we've got that same image to work with. So we can actually set up our graphic within the design software. And like I said, we're using Corel Draw today, but you can use any design software you want. So I'm going to come over to the Bezier tool. And what this is, is kind of a click and drag tool. So I'm going to click on the edge of the graphic, and I'm just going to click and drag all the way around to create that same shape. Now this takes a little bit of work getting used to, but you'll find that it's not very difficult once you start using it. Now that I have the outer shape done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner shapes as well. So I'll start with just a circle here to match up and fit that to that area. So now I'll just do this final piece down here using the Bezier tool again. Now you don't have to be exact with this. You're just coming up to the edge of the metal with that design, so uh, it's pretty forgiving. And if you do make a mistake, you can always go in and edit your nodes pretty easily. So uh, this is very easy to do. So once I'm happy with my outlines, I'm just going to go ahead and select both those inner ones and then the outer outline. And I'll come up here to the top menu and I'll choose trim. And what that's going to do is if I give that shape a fill now, you can see it just fills that outer area that we want to use. I'll turn off all of my outlines. so that those won't go over to the laser. And finally, I'll take my design. I'm just going to turn that to the same angle as my piece. And I can just be approximate here. I don't need to be exact. And then I'll power clip that inside of my outline. So now if I delete that background image, you can see we've got that image directly over the bottle opener and it's going to be perfectly positioned. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And I'll print that over to the laser dashboard. So I've selected the epilogue engraver. Click print. So now let's come over. You can see it's still perfectly positioned with our bottle opener. So that worked really well. So all I have to do now is I'm going to import my material setting. And I'm going to choose a metal polish single pass. I'll turn off isolate shapes. 
And now we're doing this on a Fusion Galvo G100 100 watt. So I'm using 100% speed, 30% power, 1% frequency in a waveform of 15. So I can just click print. Now we'll go over the laser and run that and let's see how it comes out. So we're at the machine, we've got the bottle opener still positioned in that same spot. So we can just hit go and start engraving. Now I can just take that out, turn it over, and start the job again to engrave that second side. So now we've got a really great custom bottle opener that we've engraved from end to end. Now, this is a great piece for adding a custom message to it, or I could add a logo to this very simply with the laser as well. Now, this is a tip you can use for whenever you're trying to do a full piece engraving or you have a odd shaped item that you want to create a template for by using that copy background image and pasting that into your design software makes it really simple to create that template. You can use this for all kinds of tools and parts engraving as well. So I hope you found this tip helpful today. Be sure to join us again. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you find out when the latest videos are coming out from Epilogue. Be sure to like our video. And if you'd like to find out more about the Fusion Galvo G100, click the link in our description below. Thanks and have a great day.